Amazing. Hi. Hello. Uh, from uh, Berlin. And uh, today uh, it's still uh, a week about uh, safe travels to uh, Latvia. So uh, I'm inviting an, uh, a friend, Zana and Nina, to join me here uh, for a morning chat over coffee and tea. What are you guys drinking? Hello, Natalie. Joanna, nice to see you. Mm. Now, where is Zala? <laughs> uh, I'm actually really starting to uh, enjoy this uh, life. Um, where are you guys uh, tuning in from? Uh, Arkadius, yeah, hi, how are you? Waving. Okay. Uh, ta -ta. Zana. Uh, oh yeah. uh, search Zana. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Uh, wait one second, guys. Uh, I'll be again. There we are. Hey, nog volk van van België. Hupla. Eh, eigenlijk, dat is toch ook een lekker. Dat maakt gewoon in Nederlands uh, te kunnen. Uh, ja, zeven, hè. Beetje, een beetje een bijpraten. Goedemorgen. Good morning. Bonjour. Uh, Zane. Theo. Natalie. Aha, there she is. Okay, let's see. Yes. Oh my God, this is gonna work. So, uh, Zana. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Hooray. Finally. <laughs> yeah. You no, know, never give up. Yeah, at some point it's gonna work. Cool. It's kind of it's, it was it was a bit strange uh, on uh, on Facebook. Like I I saw your name, and, but I I just couldn't add you, and you couldn't. I also I tried I tried everything I could imagine, all buttons, all settings. Sorry, I have no idea. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Um, but yeah, so uh, hi. Uh, welcome, and uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about uh, Latvia uh, today. Uh, so, Zana, you're Latvian, and we actually met how many years ago? Oh. <laughs> uh, um, I was trying to remember, and my f phone said uh, it was too long time ago. <laughs> like, uh, what, five years, maybe? Four years? Five years, I think, yeah. Five years, like yeah. That. In the Yukon? Uh, in Dawson City, which is quite remote, uh, bumped into each other there, and then we met again, like uh, in uh, Latvia. Uh, no, there was, there was there was Madrid in between. So yeah, yeah, true, true, true. You know, small world, small world. So, how is it for you, like uh, in uh, Latvia now, with all uh, the virus? Uh, uh, Events like how is Corona uh, for you guys? Is it is it okay? Is uh, everything under control? Yeah, luckily, uh, also uh, at, from the very beginning, it was not so tough like in some other countries. Uh, we were, I don't know, maybe lucky or maybe uh, smart. Uh, I would say that our government uh, did a very good balance between locking things down. Yeah. And uh, also uh, some things uh, were never locked down. So the balance were very good. So I think so far it was going quite well. And okay. at the moment, many restrictions are removed. So uh, people are uh, back on track. We see travelers yeah. uh, appearing. My brother was uh, two days ago coming, uh, returning home from uh, business trip in Germany and he said he saw uh, 15 uh, um, 
RVs uh, coming with a ship to Latvia. So actually, people are people are coming now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The borders just opened up uh, Monday, right? Last Monday, fifteenth uh, of June, I think. And uh, yeah, so there's. I think I heard there's like a, a list. Uh, like some countries are in a red zone, and others are in the yellow, and others are in the white. Uh, I heard. And uh, I think Germany is in the white, so they they are allowed to travel uh, to Latvia without being having to have, go in quarantine for two weeks, right? Yeah. So the main idea at the moment is like this: if a country has um, a level of uh, corona cases um, less than fifteen people per one hundred thousand, so everyone can come and stay and do traveling without staying in quarantine. Uh, uh, but okay, also, that's a... yeah, that, that's a restriction. But uh, <clears throat> government is discussing, and maybe actually even more restrictions will be moved. Of course, you can yeah. still should should be careful. Like there are restrictions restrictions towards uh, public events, uh, especially indoors. But if we are talking about individual traveling, traveling with family or with friends, it's it's possible again. Yeah, that's great. And uh, like uh, Latvia has a lot of nature and uh, there's a lot of remote places. So it's actually also good to travel somewhere and not to have too many people around you and you would be in nature. So also the risk of actually being infected would be quite low, right? Exactly, exactly. <clears throat> I think Latvia is a perfect place to restart travels at the moment because um, yeah, you can really escape crowds and go to many remote, yeah. small places, villages, uh, beaches, and a nature. So, um, <clears throat> and if I might uh, uh, bring in my first uh, advice, if you call, so this is just uh, the season of uh, foraging just starts. So. Uh, Latvian uh, Facebook and Instagram is already kind of very curiously looking at first chanterellas and other mushrooms. So yeah. it's a big thing in Latvia. So mushroom season is just starting. And the same with berries, stro forest strawberries is already uh, starting to appear and blueberries will be here like in a couple of weeks. So in my Ooh. case, I think... I think it's the best thing to come, uh, what we, uh, what people can uh, do here. So you forage some food, you are alone in the nature, so no risks, so perfect. Uh, but you do no. have to watch out a little bit or know a little bit what you're foraging, because, you know, like some mushrooms are a little bit better than others, uh, but you, you would know uh, which one to pick, right? Of course, and uh, yeah, yeah, you should be careful. Uh, uh, like yeah. also, also with the plants, most of the plants are uh, very good for your health. Some are very helpful, but uh, also in Latvia we have few plants. You can um, not uh, only uh, get some serious problems when you eat it, but only by touching it. So you sh you should still be a little bit careful, but. Okay. Uh, but generally, yeah. so it's, a, it's a very nice. You to, so you dodge like a, a like a virus, and then you dodge like certain mushrooms, certain plants. But yeah, but you aren't you like you're also a guide, no? Like uh, and so you know you you would know where to go. Yeah, exactly. If someone feels uh, not so safe, uh, I, I'm one of the persons who who can guide through plants and mushrooms and berries. And there are, yeah, I, I think, I... yeah, and I think actually you can ask almost any Latvian uh, for help. Uh, so people here still have a lot of connection with nature and I think it's, it's a perfect thing. Um, okay. So, yeah. Just find a local person to, to, to lead you. So what would be like a popular dish to make with mushrooms? Is it like, a, like you, some eggs and then you throw in some like delish uh, mushrooms or because, yeah, I'm... <laughs> you, you, you dry, you chop and then you smoke. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I'm joking. <laughs> no, yes, no. Yes, yes. You you actually you actually chop them. That's true. Then you bake a little bit uh, onions um, in oil or in butter, 
uh, then yeah. uh, you add a little bit of garlic and then you bake uh, mushrooms with onions and garlics and with salt and pepper. And at the end, you add uh, sour cream or, or sweet cream. So to make it all creamy or, or cottage cheese or, or no, not cottage cheese, but melting cheese. And it's, yeah. uh, it's a very, very beautiful sauce. And then you bake some uh, potatoes or boil some potatoes and, and add some salads. And then it makes a very traditional uh, Latvian yep. dish during summertime, autumn time. I'm getting hungry already. Yeah, come over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm planning to, like some, sometime in, in July. Uh, and uh, so we, what, what places, uh, remote places, would you kind of recommend for people to go now? Like, do you have like any like really cool recommendations for uh, visiting uh, in Latvia? Like if, if it's like lakes or forests or bogs or, yeah. Yeah, um, basically all of them. Um, for for foraging, it is a perfect place, of course, is um, forest or a bog. Uh, for forest forest would be perfect for mushrooms and uh, berries who are growing in a forest environment like uh, lingonberries blueberries uh, um yes yeah, forest strawberries but if you go to the bog uh, there is a cranberry thai uh, berries and 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 some other other yeah. good stuff together um and i would say that people who like beaches uh, should definitely come here because I, I'm so spoiled. I go almost to any country in the world and I go to the beach and I'm almost always a little bit disappointed because there is too many people. Or maybe it's very dangerous because there are, I don't know, some scorpions or snakes. But in Latvia, it's 500 okay. kilometers, white sand beach. It's super safe. And the all beach is just for yourself. Yeah. I've, I've, I've done That's some really walk, uh, like you walk all day, I don't know, like 12 hours, and you meet five people, and you know two of them. <laughs> That's typical <laughs> Latvian situation. <laughs> nice, nice. So do you have any specific like, uh, places, like, uh, places that you could name that you say, oh, that's really like great place to be at the sea? Um, yeah, the, that's the place I'm, 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 I'm going tomorrow. Uh, yeah. I have a friend who has her house uh, next to Michel Tournis. What? I know, Michel Tournis. Mi <laughs> Michel Tournis. Yeah, like Tournis means uh, tower. So uh, actually there is a lighthouse, uh, the tallest lighthouse yeah. in the Baltics, uh, Michel Bach. Okay. Uh, around that area, in my opinion, beaches very wild, beautiful. Um, you can find quite a lot of amber on the beach. So oh. if, if you have an eye, uh, so it can be also, you know, nice walk, but also you, you, can, you can gather some uh, beautiful stuff. Um, but everything between Kolka and Ventspils, Ventspils and Leopaya, I think it's, uh, from my perspective, it's the most beautiful be beaches in Latvia, but also yeah. in Vizina part, uh, there is a stone uh, beach with stones. It's not maybe so nice for swimming and even for walking, it's a little bit harder, but if you want to take yeah. nice pictures with, with the beautiful colored stones with water, good for Instagram, you know, so you can go to Vizina beach. Around oh, nice. Tuja, Tuja, Liepupe, um, those would be the names to look up. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, there's a lot to add to the list. Like, uh, uh, yeah, I've been to Liepaja, and um, and I actually like parts of the like the west coast going up, and then uh, this uh, this part this part where you have the the seas joining in the northwest. Oh, okay. Yeah, very special, really cool. Like you have like you see you you see the like the streams coming together and like you have this point and you can just stand there in between two seas, yeah that's that's that was really cool. But uh, as I, I hear, there's a lot more to uh, to discover. And uh, what what about what about lakes? Where would you say like that's 
really cool lake to to visit or like with a like some uh, a little bit house that you can rent somewhere and um yeah yeah like if if you want to just go randomly uh, to find some small beautiful lakes i would suggest going to latgala region to east latvia this yes, is where this is where you can house this Schmakovka drink, uh, have a very good sauna. <laughs> so nice oh, experience. I, so in, in Latvia, you, you did it? Yeah, yeah, at the sauna and uh, also like the, the, the local the liquor. Yeah, yeah, strong stuff. How, how did you and like could... sauna? It was nice, like, and it's also very interesting that they kind of like, like, they hit you with a, with, with, with like these sticks. What is that? Eucalyptus or like, uh, yeah, just like you get like wedges a little bit. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> for the circulation, the blood circulation, right? No, Bjorn, I think you were just behaving very bad, so they <laughs> wanted to give you some lesson. <laughs> it was tradition. <laughs> okay. All right. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> no, that was the yeah, to, no, but to be serious, of course, um, there are many types of uh, herbs which um, uh, gives a good um, impact on your body for blood yeah. circulation, for calming down, and uh, you can use uh, different branches from trees as well as different healing plants, uh, which yeah. has a very strong... Uh, aromas, uh, which makes you... Some aromas makes you more sleepy, some more awake, um, and all this process, actually, if you take it seriously, I have few friends who are doing it, and it takes six to eight hours, the full ceremony. Oh, uh, wow. Really? Yeah, like, you can do it also in one or two hours, but to do it properly, because uh, your body, uh, your pores in a skin are opening um, quite slowly, you should give time to yourself. And then when you do it properly and slowly and, and then the, go through all this process, heating and scrubbing your skin. And at the end, uh, the most beautiful part, uh, if there is a lake nearby, um, the person who is leading the ceremony puts you in the lake and like just turns around a little bit in a cold water. And afterwards, they put you... Uh, in a meadow, there is a small bed prepared for you, like with a sheep skin really? or something, and, and they cover you with a very cozy, um, warm blanket, and then you can sleep um, uh, under stars uh, with all nature sounds. Believe me, it's, it's, it's better than mushrooms. Uh, I, I mean, those yeah. mushrooms. <laughs> you can, you, it's better than mushrooms? You can combine it, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not <laughs> but yeah. but it, it's really really beautiful experience and uh, yeah like one of my friends works uh, not far from Barskrux uh, middle of Latvia and uh, yeah his sauna is just perfect if you want I will I will give you his contacts you will be totally a new like person eight, <laughs> eight, eight hours like pampering like that in the middle of nature mm -hmm. yeah where do I sign up and where, where, where exactly is that? Uh, so Barskrox is, if you go, you know, where is Sigurd? You have to go uh, 40 minutes more. And it's... Uh, or east. Uh, east, east. Okay. Yeah. Riga, okay. Sigurd, and then there is a bar, Barskrox. Nice. Uh, so there you, you, you have, you, so you have the sauna, then you, you go in the lake, and then you go in the middle of a meadow, and like get tucked in. Oh my God, that sounds awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what, that goes on for eight hours? Yeah, you can choose your timing. You can do also, I would say minimum time for, for such a process is two or three hours. But uh, oh. six hours is okay. And then eight hours is like the full, uh, full service. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think I, after, the, after eight hours like that, you must be quite relaxed. No? Oh yeah, oh yeah, and an another actually a very good um, uh, opportunity to relax, and uh, I'm really hoping to join my uh, beautiful friends tonight. Um, there is a beautiful lady living um, just 15 minutes uh, from my place, who is doing yeah. uh, like a, it's uh, I call it Latvian mantras. 
Uh, maybe you have uh, heard the name Dionys? Yeah, like the goddess. Uh, no, uh, it's Dion not a goddess. It's like a small poetry, uh, oh. which is coming from ancient times, but it contains a lot of ancient wisdom. And when you okay. chant it, uh, li like mantras in yoga, it actually brings okay. very good uh, healing effect on you. Uh, and on my last birthday, I had a lot of friends um, from all over the world, which I met on Camino Santiago. They were coming uh, here to visit me. And I, I invited that lady to come and sing w with us. And friends yeah. said that it was uh, so, so beautiful and uh, so healing. But the, the thing was, everyone was so relaxed afterwards. So there was no party possible. Everyone just went to the bed because it was yeah. Yeah, too relaxing. <laughs> So that's good, but, nice. Uh, that's what I think what people are looking for, like to get away from hustle and bustle and just uh, be with themselves or with, with some friends and enjoy some downtime. Yeah. Yeah, so so if you if you will be here in Latvia for some time and there will be one of those small concerts, it's like 10, 20 persons, I would really love to bring you with because it's 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 super special experience. Yeah, so yeah, sounds yeah. I would totally be up for that. Absolutely, um, cool. So, uh, what? So anything else you think like that would be uh, very uh, nice to do in these Corona times? Um, yeah, of course, nature would be my first choice. Uh, but also, I think we have a lot of interesting uh, places to go, like abandoned places, which means there is no one. Uh, <laughs> and um, some of those places are, for example, it's like uh, off the beaten track. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. That's, yeah. That's what um, people are looking for. Some some of those places are li are also known by tourists. For example, if you are looking for um, Soviet uh, heritage, uh, there's a Skrunda mm -hmm. military town uh, which was used in. Uh, in uh, Soviet times, but now it's abandoned and you can have a really cool photo sessions in such an environment. Or uh, there is a secret Soviet bunker, which was secret in Soviet times in a league at night, where you can uh -huh. go um, below the ground and see how it, how it looked at those times. Um, uh, but there is a lot of objects which are not so well known. And I would say one of the, best guides are if you want to go do, to do it on your uh, yourself is geocaching okay yeah so you just take a look uh, at the map and l read a little bit descriptions of those places and you go to find your geocache and those uh, small uh, hidden uh, treasures will lead yeah, you yeah. to super unexpected places including uh, old uh, yeah old bunkers Angers, uh, so it's um, it's very very interesting. Like I, I've been in many places, I couldn't even tell you how to get it anymore because it's like middle of nowhere. But following those coordinates, uh, yeah, there is actually one very cool place just next to my house, which is not in uh, many guidebooks. But as you know, okay. Latvia is also very popular for winter sports, where people are going down with bobsleigh and sledges. Oh no, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, you can you can uh, Google statistics and and nowadays uh, there is an um, uh, official um, official place where you can do it, and there is a world championships also happening, and you can you can actually try it uh, um, by yourself. It's also a pretty cool experience. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But, <laughs> but the place I was uh, going to tell you about. Before the, the modern times, uh, there was um, this very complicated construction was built from wood. Okay. And I know it's already abandoned for quite a long time. And it's uh, located in the middle of the forest. The trees are taking over slowly. So unfortunately, I think in some 10, 20 years, uh, there will be very few things left. But if you go... No, you can see wooden serpent like just 
raising up middle of nowhere it's also a very very cool place to to come and see you're giving me ideas really <laughs> yeah it sounds all really, really cool to do actually yeah nice is there is there more zana uh, uh, there is always more of course uh, i'm just trying to think um what else of course you can you can try to do things uh by yourself like meeting people latvians are also i would say very talented of doing things or making stuff when i yeah. what i'm starting from baking bread or making pots and uh, you can easily join some of those people to try things on your own or if you okay. just want to eat and try i would say you should go for a beer tour a beer tour really okay. yeah mhm mm <laughs> mhm mm so there are ma <clears throat> many many craft beers uh, and of course uh, in riga there is even a beer district you can you can follow different pubs and try different craft beers um, there's a beer district mhm mm like where is that um it's uh, it's quite central it's not where the old town is it's a little bit towards mira iela region um but but it's not far from the center so you can do a small pub crawl and just yeah try all those uh, craft beers and uh, um yeah so that's another thing uh, that's a, hmm. it's already a lot of things there eh? like uh, it, it could fill uh, a whole week yeah actually i think uh, you should you should uh, give yourself time and to come at least for one week because if yeah. you come for for one or two days of course you you shouldn't skip riga riga is beautiful as you know and one mm -hmm. or two days uh, you sh you should just walk around and and see the beautiful atmosphere but uh, but afterwards you should definitely get out and go some of those nature places especially now right uh, yeah uh, yeah it's a good time to do all those things uh, not like maybe like get away a little bit from the city and then uh, go like you say like 8 uh, hour 8 hours uh, sauna uh, dip relaxation that sounds really cool but geocaching right uh, like the oh yeah the historical uh, like uh, Soviet buildings, uh, like uh, quests, and uh, yeah, and a beer tour. I think I forgot one, like the second one. But, what, <laughs> uh, but no, yeah, that's all. Okay. Yeah, and there is many more things, and of course, uh, those are just just few ideas. And you can go for history more, and there is a lot of castles and 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 ghosts uh, living there, and you can sleep in a castle together <laughs> with a ghost. Yeah. What? Really? Yeah. Where is it? Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, almost every old castle has some ghosts, but uh, the most uh, uh, famous ones, I would say, are in in uh, Adwala Castle. Has a very elaborated ghost. <laughs> yeah. has is a like good it, ghost. Huh? Is it like uh, like a ghost family that stays there, or or like ghost camp? It's like like do ghosts from across the country meet there or it's like local ghosts um i think they meet maybe a couple of times in a year where is this uh, night where all the witches are coming together usually it's a quite individual experiences yeah, yeah, yeah i can imagine oh my god yeah no that sounds good a <laughs> bit scary but okay you know living on the edge it's always nice yeah, yeah probably joking, like, but looking, that... looking, looking for ghosts and and you shouldn't maybe combine it too much with with mushrooms or like or or too many beers but that because that might be a little bit scary right or opposite <laughs> you never know <laughs> yeah exactly cool well do, do, do you do you have uh, anything more that you would like to add yeah, I think uh, just follow what my T-shirt says. Okay, wish uh, do wish wish do. No, just stop yeah, wishing to travel. Just come come over, come uh -huh. here, 
and and uh, yeah. just 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 do your stuff and sometimes i would say it's not important what you are saying or me are suggesting just take your backpack or, or take your car and just allow yourself to get lost at some places and i'm sure you will meet beautiful people beautiful experiences and you will come back as a more more beautiful more rich person absolutely i think it's a, it's the best way to travel right like uh, getting lost a little bit but also finding a lot of uh, nice things people and, and experiences yeah, yeah. well uh, you definitely inspired me uh, thanks a lot for uh, for your time and your call and yeah i mean this weekend is midsummer night uh, weekend right so yeah. it's, it's well, a lot of festiv tomo festivities in Tomorrow, tomorrow there is a um, day with the shortest uh, night and the longest day. So it's like yeah. ancient, ancient solstice. And there yeah. will be a lot of fires and singing. And I'm already going uh, tonight to join, join my friends with those uh, Latvian mantras. Uh, and, and the big celebration will be also 24th, 23rd uh, evening of June 23rd. Uh, okay. which is kind of a little bit uh, no day celebration called Johnny's Day. Uh, Johnny's evening what? and the next... Johnny, uh, Janis, you know, the most popular name is Janis in Latvia, so it's also name day of Janis. We celebrate okay. not only birthdays, but name days. So, and but basically yeah. everything is around that year is uh, to celebrate uh, uh, solstice, to celebrate uh, uh, rebirth, uh, to go and find Papar the Zietz, ask someone. Well, who? In, ah, <laughs> you should come and find out what is Papar the Zietz. It's a little bit Papa mystical Papa. thing. Oh, yeah, okay. there is there is a, this plant fern which is blossoming only uh, one night in the year. Okay. But you should uh, usually to find it, you should be with someone you really like. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'll well, ask I'll someone in Latvia. I'll, I'll, I'll add it to the list. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to make a, like a, a safe uh, travels uh, guide map uh, to uh, Latvia. So for people that they know where they can go and what they should go uh, discover uh, in, in Latvia uh, safely uh, in these uh, yeah, uh, th different times, actually. It's definitely yeah. a different way of traveling. Uh, but it shouldn't stop people to explore, uh, but with common sense and, uh, yeah. Of course, of course, just do it a little bit more calm, more, more um, cautious, uh, maybe more, more towards inside you and giving yourself more time to, to enjoy nature, to know yourself. And I think yeah. it's going to be a, it may be even more beautiful trip than just, running from one spot to another yeah yeah i agree cool well zana thanks a lot for your call uh enjoy the weekend and uh, enjoy uh, summer uh, in latvia and i hope to catch up with you uh sometime soon uh in in latvia thank you so, so much and, oh, oh, and yes. Baldias, and you are very welcome and as well other people who are watching our video come to latvia you're always welcome Okay, thanks a lot. Tschüssi. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.